Hey guys, Jake from the Australian Reptile Park here. The weather is getting warmer and this is the perfect time for us to put out an urgent message that funweb spider season has started and you need to be aware about these spiders around your place. The Sydney funweb spider is widely regarded as one of the world's most dangerous spiders and they are found right within the Sydney region from Nowra all the way up the coast, here on the central coast and up to Newcastle. The male Sydney funweb spider is by far the more dangerous of the two and he's also the one you are far more likely to encounter. As we venture into summer, the summer rains typically will encourage the male funweb to begin to move around in search of females. The Australian Reptile Park has a long history with the Sydney funweb spider. The Sydney funweb spider anti-venom is produced using the venom that we solely supply to Securus down in Victoria. To collect the precious droplets of funweb spider venom used for the anti-venom, specially trained staff here at the Reptile Park will milk the funweb spider. We sit at a table in front of hundreds of spiders and one by one we will go through and extract the venom as it forms on the tip of their fangs. It is an extremely time consuming process. In order to make just one vial of anti-venom, we need to milk about 150 individual funnel webs. All of the male Sydney funnel web spiders that we milk here at the Reptile Park come to us via public donation. That's where you come in. We need as many funnel web spiders as we can possibly receive in order to keep up with the supply for that anti-venom. If you can't make it physically here to the Reptile Park to drop the spider into us, we do have drop off points right throughout the Sydney region. You can drop your spider into any of your major hospitals and some veterinary clinics as far south as the Sutherland Shire and as far north as Newcastle. Alright so now I'm going to walk you through the actual process of capturing a funnel web spider. Here in front of me we have a female funnel web which is standing up in the typical funnel web spider defensive stance. Now if you have a funnel web spider like this what you can do is use a large open mouth jar like this, pop it carefully behind the spider and then you can use a large spoon like this or maybe even a 30 centimeter ruler keep a bit of distance between you and the spider and gently shuffle the spider into the jar just like that now if your funnel web spider is moving it's a bit of a different story what you want to do is take your jar and very simply pop it in front of the spider like that and it will walk straight into it and now you've got your funnel web spider safely contained in a jar but we're not done yet what we need to do now is take a little bit of damp soil from the garden or perhaps even a damp ball of cotton wool and pop it in the jar with the spider. The spider needs a little bit of moisture, they can dry out quite quickly. So by providing it with that soil or that cotton wool, what you're doing is keeping that funnel web spider nice and happy and healthy until you either get it to one of our various drop off points throughout the Sydney region or to us here at the Australian Reptile Park. And of course to finish off, whack the lid on and you're good to go. The Australian Reptile Park has been milking Sydney funweb spiders since the late 1970s and since then we haven't seen a single death attributed to a funweb spider. If you are unfortunate enough to be bitten by a funweb spider, the first aid procedure is identical to if you were to be bitten by an Australian venomous snake. You would apply a firm pressure bandage up the entire limb, you would immobilise that limb and of course seek out medical attention as quickly as possible. Please make sure you and your family stay safe during this funweb spider season and if you do want to learn more about about the funnel web spider please come and visit us here at the australian reptile park we love talking about our spiders thanks guys see you later